How's it going guys? This is Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your Android phone on your desktop and you'll be able to control it. I'll go over how you do it. I'll go over some of the options. And this is really, really useful if you're multitasking and if you want to just have your phone docked in and you use your phone and your laptop or your PC at the same time and you keep turning your head and with this, this way, you'll have it on the desktop. And then you have to do that and i've been using this method and it's really really nice and it's really helpful so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open the terminal and we're going to install an application this is called so we go ahead and run sudo pacman s uh, scr cpy and i've already got this installed so i'm going to click no the next thing you want to do is and I'll go ahead and plug in my phone and I'll actually use this application to show you how you could do it. Go ahead and, go ahead and plug this phone in. We can go ahead and press go on the application launcher and uh, type in uh, SCR CPY. And this will open up your phone on the side and I can just go ahead and resize it. Um, so this is what you have to do on the phone. You go on to the settings all the way down to and i'm using i'm controlling it via my pc with the mouse and keyboard and you can see i can scroll up and down go into developer options you're going to go ahead and enable these go into that and if you go down you can see usb debugging now you need to make sure this is ticked on and then we can go ahead and have this phone and then we have the phone plugged in and you can see i can do all sorts of stuff now as you notice uh Oh, there is another thing I need to mention. You, meet, you need to make sure it's on a uh, file for transfer, a USB for file transfer. You can have different options or you can try different ones. I've got it on this and it seems to be working. Um, the other thing is, as you notice, uh, there is blockiness. Now I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone and this is going to disconnect it. And I'll go ahead and plug it back in. Now what I do is use use it as a command line from the terminal so i can go ahead and type in this and you can see it has uh, options it gives me options which i can use and so i've got these options so i'm going to use the h.265 codec i'm also going to use a 20 megabits per second bit rate so it looks better and i'm also going to route uh, no audio through so that means you're going to disable the audio normally the audio comes through and you can listen to it through your pc which is very nice but i want it off and you can have the screen turn off so when this is connected the screen is going to go off but you will be able to uh, use it as normal so i'm going to go ahead and as you can see the blockiness has gone away uh, it seems a lot better so i'm going to show you how you can control this so you can go ahead and press the alt as a modifier by default and i'm going to have to do that because i'm using a tiling window manager and i have other keys mapped to the windows key uh, sorry the super key and um, so that so you, normally you would use the super key but you can use alt as well so i'm going to use alt and if i go ahead and press alt and i it will enable the fps counter which is going to be only in the terminal and i can go ahead and press alt and i again and that will stop it now you can use the mouse to interact with the device you can right click to go back uh, in this application it doesn't have that and we can also do other things like for example uh, we can press alt and n this will bring down the notification and we can double press it or sorry press it again and it will expand the notification panel and the other thing is you can press um, control uh, alt s this will minimize the applications and go into the application switching thing that's pretty cool if you want to go to the home page you can press alt and h and that will take you to the home screen i can go ahead and press um, alt and s and we can go back on here now i've got the audio disabled so the phone is going to play audio through the speakers to adjust the audio you can use alt and the up and down arrow and you can also rotate the device by using alt and left and right key this will rotate the video output and if you have the phone uh, the, the touch screen also works the other thing is um, 
so the screen is off on the phone right now but i can see on here i can go ahead and wake this up and also sorry enable the this phone display again so that's with alt and o uh, and i can press alt shift o to wake it up and now i can see what i'm seeing on the uh, monitor also on the phone display but i have this turned off because i save some power that's really really cool let's go ahead and look at some other options you can go ahead and press alt p to lock the device so this is acting as the power button and to wake it back up you can uh, right click it and so that was going to wake it back up and go do that again right click and that wakes up the device now because i have a certain options enabled it will do force the screen off and you can also copy and paste text from your laptop or your pc over onto the phone and we're going to show you how to do that now and you can also drag and drop files so i'm going to go ahead and turn it on and put in the password so i'm in the file manager you can go ahead and use the keyboard to move around uh, sorry navigate and i'm going to go ahead and drag in a file let's drag in a new wallpaper uh, let's go ahead and drag this in and you can see if i go back go on downloads is here so here it is this is the wallpaper i can right click and it goes back so that's the right click uh, and you can also drag and drop apks if that's what you want to do and let's go ahead and copy this and if you go on to Uh, me we could go ahead and rename this and i can do mod v and that will paste it so you can go ahead and copy anything you want so i can go ahead and copy this to paste it you go ahead and press alt and v which is the modifier key and that it will paste that so you can copy and paste text which is very very nice so you got some functionality as well which is very nice to use and I've been using this to just play this idle game on the side and I've been watching videos and YouTube and doing other stuff. And for that, it's really, really helpful. Now, I don't know if you are able to, I don't think you can drag the file from here onto this screen and then you'll have that on here somewhere. Uh, but that's actually very nice. So yeah, I mean, you can go ahead and full screen it. And then you have your phone over here and if it does go into landscape mode it does change the aspect ratio and but it does stay in the correct one so you will have a smaller display but if you full screen it uh, like this you'll have your phone full screen so you can play games in landscape mode and they'll be popping up over here and so that's very fun as well so you can play games on your big pc uh, which will be mobile games but some games don't have controls built in so you can't use the keyboard or something like that you might have to use a gamepad but you can't do that so this is connected with the USB-C cable going into my phone and so it's not a hdmi cable or anything like that this just works with the usb cable so it's very nice it's very useful and i can go ahead and interact with the device as well no, no thank you so hope you guys found this helpful if you have any questions ask me in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in another video